That's right. It's called the Chartwell Estate, and it's the former residence of the late Jerry Parencio, the billionaire mogul who once co-owned and ran the Univision Television Network. Located in L.A.'s exclusive Platinum Triangle, the Bel Air compound is beyond extravagant and includes hidden passageways buried underneath the house. This is the first time that TV cameras have ever been allowed inside. It's going to blow you away. Back in 1986, the former Univision chairman purchased the Bel Air mansion and after a five-year gut renovation, transformed the interior into an authentic replica of an 18th century French chateau. The billionaire businessman filled the 25,000 square foot mega home with rare European antiques and made some significant modern day additions. The grand ballroom is designed for entertaining, and one of the special features of this property is that a flick of a switch, it becomes a theater. One level below is the estate's massive wine cellar. It's completely climate controlled and can hold 12,000 bottles of wine. You heard me right, 12,000 bottles. Mr. Parencio loved to entertain, so he built this 40-car motor court, and above it, he built a beautiful rose garden. Buried underneath the chateau are two tunnels, original to the home's 1935 construction. And this particular tunnel takes you to the spectacular pool and pool house. The billionaire added a giant's head to the mouth of one of the tunnels. And while redwood trees are usually only found in Northern California, that didn't stop the TV titan from transplanting dozens of majestic sequoias to create a private redwood grove in his own backyard. Not only is there nothing like this in Los Angeles, I don't think there's anything like this in the country. Now, generally, the Golden Triangle, that market is very weak right now. Sales in Bel Air down about 20% in the second quarter. And the broader L.A. luxury real estate market saw prices drop 12%. But we had the Candy Spelling Mansion. That was a very famous home in Beverly Hills, uh, wife of, uh, and widow of Aaron Spelling. That recently sold for $120 million. So 195 is not crazy but it's probably if it does that sell going to be crazy That's yeah it's it needs a, it needs a little <laughs> bit of updating as they say